Tubby. Uh, and now we would like to pay a special tribute to a cherished member of the East West Center family, Lasantha Wickramatunga, who was the founder of the Sunday Leader and one of Sri Lanka's most influential journalists. He was also a Jefferson Fellow. He was assassinated on January 9, 2009. The East West Center, along with so many others around the world, was shocked and saddened by his murder. A known government critic, his death was condemned, condemned worldwide as an attack against free media. We would like to just show, uh, show a short video uh, about the courageous work and the tragic death of this brave journalist. Lasantha Vikramatunga was not only an accomplished journalist and politician, but also a humanitarian. It is with pride that we remember how Lasantha Vikramatunga remained a friend to our network through thick and thin. A guardian of truth and a proponent of justice, Lasantha Vikramatunga founded the Sunday Leader newspaper with the intention of upholding and furthering these values. They say the pen is mightier than the sword. In Lasanta's case, this was not a mere quotation to be bandied about, but a code to live by. Lasanta never faltered when it came to exposing criminals regardless of which social strata they hailed from. A voice against injustice, Lasanta opened new doors in investigative journalism and inspired both his followers and critics. Two days before his untimely and cruel death, when the MTV MBC studio complex in Dipanma was attacked, Lassanth of Fear lustly raised his voice in condemnation. I wholeheartedly condemn this terroristic attack on the Sirius MTV Shakti stations. We as media personnel will have to face up to this challenge. This is not the first time a media organizations have come under attack and they certainly won't be the last. But we as media personnel must face up to this challenge not be bowed down what, under whatever threats and intimidation and unitedly face this threat. Lasanta had to pay the ultimate price for the sacrifices he made for freedom and justice. While headed to work like any other day, Lasanta Vikramatunga was attacked on the Dehivala Atheni Road. Lasanta's fight for justice did not and will not fade away despite his demise. Five years to the day since Lasanta was taken from us, those responsible remain at large. The circumstances surrounding his assassination remain a mystery. In Lasanta Vikramatunga's final editorial titled, And Then They Came For Me, Lasanta wrote, quote, Let there be no doubt that whatever sacrifices we journalists make, they are not made for our own glory or enrichment. They are made for you. Whether you deserve their sacrifice is another matter. As for me, God knows I tried, unquote. Lasantha's editorial from the grave was run in many newspapers after his death and what he wrote applies so much to all of the journalists and to values around the world and I'll just read a few excerpts from that. No other profession calls on the practitioners to lay down their lives for their arts save the armed forces and in Sri Lanka journalism. In the countries of the past in the course of the past few years, the independent media have increasingly come under attack. Electronic and print media institutions have been burned, bombed, sealed, and coerced. Countless journalists have been harassed, threatened, and killed, and it has been my honor to be along, uh, be, to be one of those, all those categories, and now equally the last. It is well known that I was on two occasions brutally assaulted, while on another my house was sprayed with machine gun fire. So why then? Do we do it? It is the call of conscience. The free media serve as a mirror in which the public can see itself sans mascara and styling gel. From us you learn the state of your nation and especially its management by the people you elected to give your children a better future. Our commitment is to see Sri Lanka as a transparent, secular, liberal democracy. Transparent because government must be openly accountable to the people and never abuse their trust 
Secular because in a multi-ethnic and multicultural society such as ours, secularism offers the only common ground by which we might all be united. Liberal because we recognize that all human beings are created different and we need to accept others for what they are and not what we would like them to be. And democratic, well, if you need me to explain why that is important, you'd best stop buying this newspaper. I hope my assassination will be seen not as a defeat of freedom, but as an inspiration for those who survive to step up their efforts. People often ask me why I take such risks and tell me it is a matter of time only before I am bumped off. Of course, I know that it is inevitable, but if we do not speak out now, there will be no one left to speak for those who cannot, who cannot whether they be ethnic minorities, the disadvantaged, or the persecuted. If you remember nothing else, remember this. The leader newspaper is there for you. Be you Sinhalese, Tamil, Muslim, low caste, homosexual, dissident, or disabled. Its staff will fight on, unbowed and unafraid, with the courage to which you have become, you have become accustomed. Do not take that commitment for granted. Let there be no doubt that whatever sacrifices we journalists make, they are not made for our own glory or enrichment. They are made for you. Whether you deserve this sacrifice is another matter. As for me, God knows I tried. How sad uh, that Lasantha is not with us today to witness the transformations in his home country. Amantha Pereira is going to receive the honor tonight. Uh, Amantha worked for Lasantha, and uh, he is now the, the uh, coordinator for Asia Pacific Fellows at the DART Center for Journalism and Trauma. Amantha, could you play it? say a few words, please? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, when we started this, uh, you were told that Sri Lanka is now a country full of hope. But as you can see, we played a very terrible price for that. If Lasantha Manilal Vikramatunga were alive today, he would have been 58 years old. He would still be displaying his baby face look with a cheeky smile. He would also be chasing a cracker of a story in his own inimitable way, walking through the door in, of his newsroom, smiling. He would deliver his unique greeting. So what have you got today? But that is not the case. In 2009, my editor was shot and killed, a mere five minutes from his office. The newspaper that I once used to work for, the Sunday Leader. The murder investigation languished for seven years and has only gained some kind of traction since January 2015. Yet, we still have no idea who committed this heinous crime. Since his death, many words have been written and spoken of this man who mentored and nurtured me during my formative years. Many have spoken about his legacy, his imprint on Sri Lankan journalism, and beyond. His brand of journalism was not for the faint-hearted. You either loved him or you hated him. Same with his journalism that did not shy away. His legacy to many has been the stories he broke or the no-holds-barred reporting culture he supported. To me, his legacy is not that. His legacy is the many journalists who found their footing working with him who took their baby steps reporting under his watchful eye. The Sunday leader under Lasantha was a stable of the best in Sri Lankan journalism. His unrelenting story chasing ways rubbed off effortlessly on the others who worked in the same editorial. A glance at the winner's list of the prestigious Journalist of the Year Award given by the Editors Guild of Sri Lanka is ample proof to show the caliber of journalists Lasantha molded. It is they who now occupy gatekeeper posts in many media outlets in Sri Lanka that are Lasantha's true legacy. Through them and their work, Lasantha's work, and more importantly, his daring brand of journalism lives on. It is in this context that this award should be viewed. It is not only a recognition of his work and the ultimate sacrifice he made, but also of his unparalleled contribution 
to Sri Lankan media.